Please subscribe to Let's Share Solutions and press the bell icon for daily life transforming videos. All the tips I'm going to share in this video, uh, this happens subconsciously. So don't overdo it and uh, don't show that you are doing it and uh, don't do it intentionally. It should happen automatically, but it will give a great first impression as uh, people who are confident and honest do what I will teach you here and they do it automatically. Obviously, uh, this happens from inside and you will also get that uh, quality in you. That's what I believe in you. So let's start. The first tip for you is controlled smile. Don't smile for no reason. Obviously, it is it is recommended that you give an interview, you should smile. I always tell you that. But this smile, there are different kinds of smiles. So don't smile for no reason. If you do that, it will show that you are nervous. Smiling for no reason, smiling all the time when you don't have to smile at that time, that shows nervousness. And if you do not smile at all, that shows arrogance. That shows that you are not interested. So you have to be in balance and that's what I call controlled smile. If there is something to be laughed at, smile. But it should be smile and then you should be back to normal. It should not be a continuous smile. So it has to be controlled smile, short smile. The next point is handshake. Handshake is considered one of the very important part of uh, body language and that subconsciously tells if the person is confident or not. So when you shake hands, it should not be very lenient, very loose. It should not be very tight. That's again a sign of arrogance. It should be balanced, but it, it should be firm. And uh, it should not be uh, in this position or this position. It should be straight. Try in this position. A little bit here is fine, but don't do it like this. I'll talk about this in some other video. What is the meaning of different kinds of handshakes? And the next tip is look in the eyes. Do not look here and there or at the bottom or somewhere else. Look directly in the eyes. And for this, you have to practice. If you are not into practice, then this you will not feel comfortable doing this. And when you look in the eyes, it means you are confident. It means you are honest. And if you're not looking in the eyes, it subconsciously gives a message that this person is hiding something. So... You have to practice it. So practice with your friends and family in front of a mirror. Just try to look in the eyes and practice this so that when you give the interview at that time, you don't feel unconscious. Uh, you don't feel uh, uncomfortable. The fourth tip is I'll make a complete video on this later, but here I'm giving you a simple advice. Don't hide your palms. Don't hide them. So when you give the interview, your palms should be I'm not saying it should be like this, but you should never hide it. That's just a, a trick I'm telling you. I'll tell you exactly what you need to do, but don't hide it. It should be either you can have your hands like this or you can just and don't use it too much, little bit, but you should show your show your palms. If you're showing your palms, then that gives a conscious message that you are confident. And uh, if you're hiding it, that is not a good sign, uh, even in interviews and otherwise also. So don't hide your palms, this, doing this, or putting your hand under the table, or hiding it like this. This should not be done. You should have your palms open, and once in a while you can move it. Don't do it. Don't overdo anything. And the last point is obviously dress according to the job profile. This, because I'm talking about the first impression, the first impression comes by looking at you. So obviously they look at your hands, they look at your eyes, other things come later on. First, what you wear, that's what is displayed. So obviously uh, dress up according to the job profile and most probably it will be a formal dress. So do not, if you are fresher, do not wear anything that you wear in your college. You have to also take care of your hairstyle and your beard and anything, anything that is trending or something. Avoid all those things. Be in formals 
and uh, I'll make an, another video where I'll discuss about what a man or a woman should wear in a job interview. I wish you all the best. For more videos related to interview skills, please watch the complete playlist. I'll see you in the next video.